Hey folks, I'm sorry, but the last few months have been very busy and some important projects had to be completed. But never minded that, here comes a new tutorial. If you're particularly interested in cutting movie scenes, this one might be quite helpful for you. It's a bunch of production proven tips to get a better look on the footage of your scene. And that very effective. Let's talk about these secrets. A good example to illustrate the technique would be this action scene from a movie which I edited a while ago, Breakwater. Let's go back in time to the beginning of that project. Before I started editing, I talked with the director. What is it about? Who is in focus? Where is the drama? In general, such an exchange with the director as well as reading the screenplay is extremely important, but as an editor I must also have a more direct contact with the material and access to the scenes. Because this allows me a more intimate perception of the emotions. And to achieve that there is a solid fast workflow. So let's take a look at the project. And here is the example scene, the action scene. The assistant editor has done a great job. Each take was created as a subclip and named accurately. Then it was my turn. I grabbed all the subclips and threw them into the timeline. So this action will create a new sequence with all these subclips in there. A method that makes it easier, especially with very short takes, but also with extensive material. You can move much faster through the footage. This facilitates the search for the right shot enormously. Then I duplicated the sequence with Ctrl D. In this second sequence I selected the footage. Footage which seemed essential to me to make the action scene really exciting and the rest was simply removed. But if I also noticed a special moment in the footage and did not know yet what I could do with it, so I put it separately in the bin with a corresponding name. I did this by marking the area in the timeline and creating a subsequence of it by packing and dragging the subsequence symbol at the composer window into the bin. So, when I need that special moment, it is ready to use. For example, when I go through the whole thing with the director. Later recuts happen very time efficient, if you take some time for the preparation and by then you know the material well. So a procedure like that has many advantages. It's not the only workflow, but a good way to get an overview of the footage. A good possibility to optimize your cutting process. I hope that you have received a fresh look on this topic. See you next time.